hey guys, so we got something a wee bit different for you today. We've got a bit of a ballad of a biz lily. Um, he pretty much, uh, like, we, we've never really done anything from biz before, as far as I'm aware. And uh, I enjoyed it. I thought it was a fun story. And I hope you guys will enjoy it too. So, look, let's get into this one, will we? Biz has ruined my life. Same, mate. <laughs> Same. <laughs> I didn't even do it. <laughs> About two years ago, I moved to some godforsaken shithole town in the far, far north. It was for a programme where I'd be teaching. For some like me who majored in philosophy, it was a stepping stone into the real job. I'd pay my dues, spend two years up here building a resume, and move back south where I could teach at a high school. Not the most glamorous job, but it sure beats taking orders at Starbucks. When I first arrived, I could not have been happier. For the first time in my life, I had a place of my own even if it was a flimsy trailer on the outskirts of town. It was still mine. All I had was a suitcase, a small bus of Socrates, and my faithful pet dog, Bandit. But as you can imagine, there isn't much of a social life out here, especially as the day grows shorter and the nights grow longer and longer, until the sun disappears entirely for weeks. So I'd enjoy the luxury of an internet connection and spend my spare time shitposting on history and literature. The program paid for my rent, so I suddenly found myself with some cash, and with nothing really to do. I decided to do the responsible thing, and invest. I've never been good with money, so I figured I'd trust the expert. That was when I first- The experts, <laughs> the experts, okay. the experts on biz. <laughs> that was when I first found biz. My own personal Pandora's box. Now, when I say this town is out there, I mean out there. The end of the earth. It's barely accessible half the year. The ground is permafrost, so we can't put pipes in. Everyone here has to shit in a special bucket, which is collected several times a week. <laughs> the food is atrocious, and it's even worse coming out the other end. I first bought into crypto in January. I'd read about coins on biz, and I could have sworn I was some kind of King Miraz. Every coin I selected would shut up. My wealth doubled and tripled by spring I had lost track. I convinced myself that I was really living the best of all possible worlds. There was no other explanation. It was like magic. I hitched a ride south one weekend and went on a shopping spree, buying up all the expensive wines I had lusted after back in university. The school year ended and I had to find something to do for the summer. I had mentioned my investing successes to a colleague who recommended me to his friend. We'll call that friend Joe. Joe was a real salt of the earth guy. Huge, smelled like shit, but not for lack of hygiene. It was part of his job. He went around picking up everyone's shit buckets. <laughs> he, <laughs> Honestly, that, that sounds dreadful. He needed help getting the company's finances in order. Of course, I volunteered. The work was unexpected. As it turns out, Joe wanted me to do some money laundering. He and his buddies just didn't take out the shit buckets. They also ran a smuggling ring. Some of them would poach protected animals. Others would sell opiates around town. What else are people going to do in this wasteland? They heard about my knowledge of crypto and treated me like I was some kind of wizard. During the fall and summer of last year, everything was great. I gave up on my teaching job. It was glorious. For the first time in my life, I felt empowered. The program director is this geriatric native guy. Smuggest motherfucker I've ever met. How sweet it was to tell him off. You should have heard me. I really cussed him out. But then January hit. My portfolio was in the red. I tried to trade again, but the magic was gone. I had read the white paper on Digitech's futures and had considerable assets in that coin that just melted away. There was one day in March when I put all my assets into some third world bullshit called Ripa coin. A little Indian coin. Only for it to lose 98% of its value in a matter of hours. But I refused to sell, as I didn't want to succumb to the buy high, sell low biz meme. I even consulted a local native shaman. <laughs> oh. I, I asked her for trading advice. She took some coins out of my pocket and told me that if I challenged them, they would lose all value. Real mystical mumbo jumbo, but I thought, she must be referring to fate, mum. The dollar will fall, but only if I challenge it. I thought to myself, fate rewards the daring. Crypto would always beat fate in the end. Those bold enough to see that would win big. I started chain smoking and taking caffeine pills, staying up all night trading. There was a period at the beginning of April where I didn't sleep for a week straight. Even with all my mistakes, the crypto market was rising. I could salvage the situation. But I fucked up biz. Like Icarus, I flew too close to the sun. The guys at work could tell I was feeling down. Just by coincidence, 
The weekend Elon Musk hosted SNL was also my birthday, so they decided to throw me an impromptu party. I was feeling a lot better, and assumed this appearance would be a gas on the fire for the crypto market. I will forever remember the moment I made the decision. I was looking at my portfolio, and I had managed to scrap together some modest gains. But then the gears started turning in my head. I had an idea. I would invest my company's money. Oh. They had a lot of money. More than I could make in my lifetime if I kept teaching. And with Elon hosting SNL, Dodge had to be a safe bet. <laughs> oh, I went all in. <laughs> Honestly, I, see people uh, that gamble on fucking animal tokens. <laughs> it's the height, It's the most degenerate form of gambling <laughs> ever. I put everything into Doge. I mean everything. Not just the assets from the guys at work. All of my own money as well. Every cent I could find. There was no way this could fail, right? So there I am, in the company's garage. We're taking bumps of coke. We have so much champagne, it's all over the floor. They even have a stripper driven up for some ungodly price. Then we watch SNL. Here it is. My moment of triumph. My coup de grace. After the very few skits, I check my phone. And all I see is red. I immediately vomited all over myself. Joe and the stripper. She's politely escorted out. One of the guys sees what's on my phone and grabs it from me, showing the others. Suddenly I am aware where I truly am. I'm in a cold garage in some fucking wasteland, surrounded by burly men, not my friends, gangsters, and they're all glaring at me. Whose money is this? Is this our money? They force me to explain what Doge is, and I have to go so far as to explain the whole meme with the Shiba dog. <laughs> I show them the old doge meme on my phone, explain to them what moonshot is. All the while, they're looking at me in shock. Joe, this is where all our fucking money is going? One of them asks. I try to explain. Not only can I launder their money, I can also make them money. These losses were nothing. A fluke. I was going to surprise them with the gains. Joe looks at me dead in the eyes and says, One week. He then slid his finger across his neck. The next day at work, I fell asleep at my desk. My dog, Bandit, must have wandered off because when I woke up, he was dead. One of the guys had accidentally ran him over. I was devastated. I started to drink like I've never drank before. In the span of a few days, I went through thousands of dollars of expensive wines, binge drinking and trading and browsing biz. I switched my assets into Electronium, Meme and Data. Around that time, I passed out at work after a particularly bad bender. I was also bleeding out of my nose after snorting too many caffeine pills. Woke up in a hospital in a city far to the south. I was fine, but I'd been out for a few days. By the time my hospital stay was over, and I made it back north, it had just been shy of a week. When I got back and checked my crypto portfolio, I vomited. It had plummeted. I came to my senses and convinced myself it was a temporary fluctuation. I spent my time resting and letting the market sort itself out. Time in the market was better than timing the market, I told myself. Another day or two passed and I just couldn't take it. The siren song of crypto was calling. I started day trading again, but I had lost an unimaginable amount of money. But I had not hit rock bottom, yet. A few days ago, Joe demanded to see the finances. I didn't see any other option. The guy's much stronger than me, so I showed him. He and his buddies proceeded to tie me to a chair and beat the shit out of me. I lost several teeth and broke my nose in a way where it will always be crooked. I don't have insurance to fix either of these deformities. They also dumped several of the ship buckets on me, and held my head in a trough of sewage until I almost drowned. Joe made me start working full time. He doesn't trust me with the finances, so I have to drive around the truck and empty the ship bucket. I asked him how long it would take for me to pay off my debt. His answer? Forever. So here I am, stuck in this freezing hell, forever and I can't get the smell of shit off me. It's in my hair, under my fingernails. I scrub and I scrub, but it just won't come off. After leaving the teaching program, I lost my trailer, so I now sleep at work. I have a mattress I put on the office floor at night, where I drink bottom shelf vodka and browse 4chan. But I still have one ace up my sleeve. There's one wallet they didn't get to. It's this really exciting coin that has flown under most people's radar. I've read the white paper and everything. It's called Gifto, GTO and it could just be my ticket out of here. And that's how far boys go to shell really shitty crypto. Oh my god, guys. <laughs> this is like the old uh, spaghetti falls out of pocket meme. Oh my god. I enjoyed this one. I, I thought, hope it's not true. No, it's definitely not. Everything on business is bullshit. <laughs> yeah. Everything on business is bullshit. Um, 
Frankly, I enjoy Bez. I think it's one of the more fun boards, but that's only because I also enjoy crypto at the same time. Um, if any of you guys are into crypto, let us know what you're looking at at the minute. I know I know you are going to laugh at me, but I do really enjoy GRT, the graph, currently delegating, and of course Chainlink, and there's a few other things I've got my eyes on, but they'll be the big ones for me. Um, if you yourself are interested in jumping in, I mean, literally the entire market shit itself yesterday the day before, so... I suppose buy low, sell high. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, if you want to jump in now, I'll, I, you know, I'm, there's no point putting in the model advert for this one because this one's a bit different. But I'll throw in all the uh, QCoin, Binance, um, what do you call it, Coinbase, um, even a few mining referral codes, so we both get benefits from it. If that's what you're so interested in, if you don't know what you're doing, just buy Bitcoin. Honestly, just buy Bitcoin. Or if, if you don't know what you're doing, don't do it. <laughs> yeah, don't do it at all, to be honest with you. If you didn't, really don't know. But if you are going to go for it and you really don't have any But I'm going to say idea, like most of you are probably doing it. Yeah, most people I think are. Most, I, I'm coming across more and more people, IRL, that are showing me, oh, mate, you want to see my gains? Look at my gains. <laughs> you know, I, I, I think I've had pretty good gains. So I have, but of course, look, that's enough for us. Um, if you're interested in crypto, definitely. I check it out. Check it out. You know. And check out our links to our website to see our models, our t-shirts, our subclasses, all that good shit. Hit subscribe and hit the notification bell so you get notified every time we post. Also, don't, and I mean don't, buy shitty meme dog coat tokens on the fucking Binance yes, chain. Yes, fucking don't. Don't. That's degenerate as fuck. Is that is gambling. Don't that do is it. Read the fucking white paper, guys. Just do it. <laughs> read the fucking white paper. <laughs> we'll Just see. come on. <laughs> we'll see you in the next video. Bye. All those moments lost in time.